Ah, dyslexic genius here. What I want to talk about is an Amarillo 5, this cabinet right here. This was Edison's first internal horn tabletop machine. These were $80 new. The cabinets are all solid wood. There's no veneer on them. And it has these cute little feet holding it up. What this really is, is a baby opera. It literally is a baby opera. When you, it has a Edison home spring in it. It has completely gear driven, no belts like an opera. This on off switch almost looks like an opera one. It has automatic shut off here and it comes with a diamond B. It's telescoping diamond B. Yeah. That's the diaphragm for a diamond B. For an Amberol 30, 50, 75 DXs and everything else, you have this dainty little thing. I think I'd rather have this diamond, this diaphragm, and this to play four minute. It was the first four minute one. One of the drawbacks about these are, and, and they didn't prime the bed plates well, and you can see the paint flakes on them. And this is just one of the things about these machines. You can see the flaking here. But what's really, really cool about this thing is that when you take this gear cover off, you have a flywheel like an Edison Opera with a piano wire going through, which is cushioning in it when you play. There's no flutter in a machine like a 30 or a 50 or 70, any of the other ones. And this, this here, the speed control here, you pull this out. That's right off an opera. This on off switch right here, right off an opera. It's, it, they're unbelievable machines for the money. And they're fairly scarce. They came out in 1913, March of 1913. And at the fire in 1914, the factory had roughly 800 in a pinch and it, cabinets coming in because Edison didn't have the, make the cabinets. They outsourced those. And those machines they outsourced, they put an Amarillo 75 motor in them. You know, operas are expensive. This thing is unbelievable for the money. This is back when Edison was really building phonographs. You know, engineering, design, cabinet work. You know, all this is all hand, hand pinstriped from the factory. You can tell right here when you look at them. You know, it's even right down to the numbering and the speed control, everything is hand pinstriped. It has the little oiling tops on this here, just like an opera, and you can put the little caps in. You have one, two, and then there's three, and then there's four over here. We will be doing a restoration on this, but I just wanted to introduce this. If you're looking at opera and you couldn't afford one because they're very expensive, you know, four thousand or more dollars, one of these you can find. They came in three shades. They came in gloss mahogany and then a semi-dull mahogany. This is the gloss one, and then oak. They even, they faux painted the grill. Come on. There we go. And they even faux painted the horn, but you can see how the paint is just flaking off because they didn't prime anything back then like that. And this is spring-loaded automatic shutoff. Wonderful stuff. I hope you enjoy this, and that's my tip for the day.